What's up, trans -Bottom? This is Ben reporting from China, and I'm gonna bring you episode 2 of Charge News, bringing you fast Transformers masterpiece related news right to your YouTube. First, let's talk about new releases. MP13 Soundwave has been reissued and released to your favorite local retailer. How do you know you've got the new MP13 reissue? At the bottom left corner of the box, you can see the 35th anniversary Transformers symbol. And it's quite unfortunate we did not get the MP13 Plus this time around. But does that mean that we're going to get a new MP Soundwave? Oculus Max has also just released their Swindle, labeled PS15 Frodo. And I love how they've used that name because Swindle loves money, Frodo loves rings. And look at that windshield for Frodo, it's facing the right side up. And that Jeep mode, look at that, the sculpted seats. And I wish that spark plug Carly Spike from MP44 can fit in just nicely. Not that they were ever right on Swindle, but that playability opportunity, I wish it's there. Bad Cube is not out, they have just released their Insecticons. And what I love about this Bad Cube set is that it's a three in one package. You get all three insects in one big bug. And the bombshell is great. In the bug mode, it has a gray chest, and in the bug mode, it has a purple chest. And that gimmick is super tuned accurate. And now, some pre release news. Notrap has now got two bumblebees one in the bug mode and one in the alt mode. And my god, that guy is a high ball roller. And look at how articulated Bumblebee looks with some action shots. Rising Force has released colored images of their Motormaster. And what they're bragging in this picture right here is that you can transform their Motormaster from one mode to the other mode in less than five minutes. Wow, that brings us back to the good old days of easy fun transformation. Ocular Max has also shown us new updated pictures of their Onslaught. And what I love about this Onslaught is that it has a lot of the tune vibe with a dash and sprinkle of some Studio Ox goodness. I'm not really much of a Studio Ox fan, but if you are, this is your onslaught because it's got some great details on the shoulders, forearms, thighs, and legs. The truck mode also looks great. It has tune vibe and also a studio ox vibe. And the swivel in the midsection really allows more maneuverability in the truck mode. And look at this picture. Blast off, vortex, onslaught, and swindle. And I love how Ocular Max made blast off really really big and swindle small. Wow, look at this picture. An all-in-one transformation with a very tuned vibe chest plate. Too bad that the thigh piece is still in that onslaught teal blue green color. I really wish we can get a grey thigh option for Bruticus. Ocular Max is releasing a toy add-on kit to make your Bruticus look more toy accurate. And you get an extra centimeter on your Bruticus with this add-ons. And those feet can roll up into a cube which you can put between onslaught with an on-ramp function but between just you and me that ramp i don't think nothing can roll up that ramp uh, except for motorcycles and that picture look at this picture that bruticus really brings back a lot of great fond childhood memories that toy accurate chest plate and that toy accurate head that's amazing Man, if I didn't have my G1 tune only rules, I'd be getting this toy. DX9 have finally released new prototypes of their Menosaur and Motomask. And look what we have! That little bug that we saw in one of the episodes where Megatron's rusted. And here's how Motomaster scales with Megatron and Soundwave. Boy, those cars are really big. Even though Motomaster is not an all-in-one toy where the trailer becomes Menosaur and the cab section becomes Motomaster, the back still cleans up very well. The only drawback I can see from this Motomaster is those feet. Those four wheels gotta be better. You know, you gotta have the separation between the first wheel and the second wheel because that don't look like a truck. And boy dude, when you have Motomaster in the truck mode, that trailer is hella long. You can possibly fit two and a half Stunticon cars in that truck alone. And look at this picture. Oh my god. That trailer is hella long and what I love about this shot is that the cabs for MP10 and DX9's Motomaster, they're really comparable in size. And this shot is quite disappointing. Why? Not because it's a bad toy, but because there's not enough space for you to fit in any of the Sunticon cars. Because all the Minnesota bits folds into that trailer. At the back of Minnesota, you can see there's a big hole. And that's where you transform Motomaster into a cube and slot it back into that cavity section. 
And here's someone trying to give Menasaur the Iron Man three point landing pose and it's not quite cutting it. And here's how Menasaur scales with Zeta Toys Superion. Pretty good in size. And <laughs> look at that trailer. All these Menasaur bits fits into that trailer. Now for pre-order news. Transform and Rollout is reissuing their Jazz. So if you have not got into their Jazz first time around and you really like your Porsche to have that ultra realistic look, this is your Jazz. And in other news, Market Toys were set to release their Dirge this week or next week, but they've recalled all of them according to one retailer, citing some issues. Which is good news because of the fiasco that happened with their Sunstorm release. And I do hope Monkey Toys fix whatever needs to be fixed with their dirge and release it to us fans in good pristine condition. It's really better for them to get it right and for them to repair their reputation as a great toy company. So that is it for Charge News this time around. If you enjoyed this news segment, please hit the like and share button and also hit the sub and bell icon for more future news. Again, this is Ben reporting from China, signing off and I'll see you on the flip side.